A frontal inversion, as the name suggests, is produced by the passage of a shallow cold front, and it can produce an elevated inversion as cold air behind the front replaces the warm prefrontal air. This is shown schematically on the right. A front of depth H, which slopes from the east to the west, undercuts a warmer air mass represented by the dry adiabatic lapse rate shown in red. As the front passes through, its depth increases and you build an increasingly deep inversion as warm air is replaced by cold air. That produces the blue line as shown and the frontal inversion. At a frontal zone aloft, the sounding should show a clear cut inversion separating the lapse rates, typical of the warm air mass and the cold air mass behind the front. And there should also be a significant change in the wet bulb potential temperature across the frontal zone. And that tells us that there's two very different air masses, not just in terms of temperature but also moisture. Frequently a frontal inversion occurs over a relatively large depth and is distorted by other processes, so it's not always obvious. Here's a situation where a front passes through Melbourne. The MSLP chart in the top left shows northwesterly winds ahead of the front and the chart on the right shows southerly to southeasterly winds behind the front over Melbourne. The trace shows marked cooling below 700 hectopascals in the past 12 hours, shown by comparing the blue trace to the red trace. It also shows significant drying during that period, but there's a saturated layer above 900 hectopascals and below 700 hectopascals. Indicated also are the wet bulb potential temperatures and you can see that they're very different representing two different air masses. So this inversion has been produced, been produced by the passage of a front. Here's an example where we don't have a front moving through but a trough. So on the top uh, MSLP analysis you can see the dot dashed line to the west of Melbourne and then the bottom chart it's moved into the Tasman Sea. The result is a, a sharp but shallow inversion uh, shown in the uh, the sounding in the top right and underneath that shallow inversion cloud has been trapped as you can see in the satellite image there's a a vortex a rotating vortex of cloud but it's only shallow cloud because of that very strong and, and shallow inversion